I'm taking us back because I know that it will be very relevant because Mr. Fo Amani is, is, is on, on, on yeah. cue to, to also bring his opinion. So yeah. I want to clarify something before we continue. So he started by claiming that, debunking and claiming that there is no biological basis for homosexual behavior. Yeah. I want to ask him, what um, academic studies have you conducted to debunk what science, what people, I'm, I'm not going to just, um, I'm not just saying, let me, let me provide an article right now that you should check, scholarly work, um, sexual orientation, controversy, and science. Please type fast, because I have a lot to say. The <laughs> well, viewers cannot see, so you, you go on, go on, um, go on, just go on talking. Psychological science in public interest. Yeah. So I'm reading, so this, this article was cited in um, Wikipedia. So I'm bringing the article, then go back to Wikipedia. Let me read what Wikipedia says under this article. Do you get what, what I'm what trying to say? Point? So my point, point is, yeah, please let me read. The influence on, of hormones on the developing fetus has been the most influential causal hypothesis of the development of sexual orientation. In simple terms, the developing fetal brain begins in a female typical state. The presence of the Y chromosome in males prompts the development of testes, which release testosterone, the primary androgen receptor activating hormone to masculinize the fetus and fetal brain. This masculinization, uh, this masculine, oh, English, effect pushes <laughs> males towards male <laughs> typical <laughs> brain structures. So Please, let me repeat that again. Yeah. This masculinizing effect mm -hmm. eh, pushes males towards male typical brain structures and most of the time attraction to females. It has been hypothesized that gay men may have been ex exposed to little testosterone in key may regions of their brain. Or I, there are so many, uh, wait, yeah. we will go small, small. Um, it has been hypothesized that gay men may have ex been exposed to little testosterone in key regions of the brain or had different levels of receptivity to its masculinizing effects, or experienced fluctuations at critical times. In women, it is hypothesized that high levels of exposure to testosterone in key regions may increase likelihood of same-sex attraction. So clearly, people have gone through the process of scientific uh, query to bring out evidence on this matter. So he cannot on the basis of what he just read. Right. Bring it is evidence false. on board okay. on that the basis homosexuality of what have no, just, has no biological just, basis. Okay. Oh, oh, bring evidence. I have brought evidence. Yeah, yeah, bring yeah, evidence. Yeah, 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 yeah.